So let's take a look at the cannon bar theory. This is another one of uh, the theories of emotion that we need to be familiar with. So Ken and Bard were these two other people that were basically critics of the James Lang theory, as we talked about uh, in the last video about the James Lang theory. So they were the critics of this theory, and they essentially think that what they said is not true. And so this is the theory that they came up with. So basically the pathway here is that they say there's a stimulus, And unlike the James Lang theory where they said the physiological response precedes and causes emotion, according to Canon Bard, they're saying that there's emotion, so there's two aspects to this, emotion and our physiological, uh, physiological response are going to occur at the same time. So according to Ken and Bard, they're saying once we have that stimulus, we're going to have emotion and the physiological response occurring at the same time independently of each other. So the emotion does not cause the physiological response and the physiological response does not cause the emotion. And so they're just going to occur independently uh, uh, of each other once we have the stimulus. So let's take a closer look at an example of this. So let's say our stimulus, we see lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. So we have our uh, wild animal, let's say. And so once we see that stimulus of a wild animal, we elicit an emotion, maybe fear. So fear, emotion of fear. And then at the same time, we also have the physiological response. And these, according to Ken and Bard, occur independently of each other. So, uh, sorry, physiological response. So, like um, sweating, increased heart rate, things like that. So, once again, to recap, according to the Ken and Bard theory of emotion, they're saying we have a stimulus, some kind of stimulus, and this elicits emotion and a physiological response from our body at the same time independently of each other. Emotion does not cause this and the physiological response is not caused by the emotion but they occur independently at the same time.